Rob, would you look at this cigar? Just look at it. Just look at it. You know what I say when I see a cigar like this? I say, would you look at that? I'm looking. Just look at it. Hey everybody, welcome to Simple Diversion. We are Graham and Rob, and you are viewing right now. So thanks for stopping by with another cigar edition, Late yes. Night. Are you guys ready for the fact of the day? Oh, we didn't have one. <laughs> I know, I just saw it. <laughs> Today we're gonna be smoking the La Historia La by Historia. E.P. Carrillo which would be Ernesto Perez Carrillo. 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 So that, is it South Carrillo or North Carrillo? <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna have a Mexican San Andreas wrapper. Really dark chocolate. Great presentation. Oh yeah. Love the, I like the band at the end, but I don't like taking those off. Yeah. Cause it's kind of, Time consuming, but right. really, really a nice looking cigar nice catches your eye. Yeah. I like the I like, color combo, I like the the artwork. Yeah, the artwork and the label is very, very, very nice. Very cool though. Oh, came off really nice. Yours did? Yep. Uh, mine's pretty tight. It's gonna be a, a medium to full body with really rich flavors, supposedly. 6.1 inch by 50 ring gauge as Rob struggles to get his band off. And it's gonna be about ten to eleven dollars per stick, so it's it's gonna be up there. But um, from what I I've had a box of ten of these, bought about a year and a half ago. These are my last two. No. <laughs> so these are my last two cigars. So we are gonna enjoy them tonight before another night of Thursday night football. Hope you all are well out there. If you got a cigar, light up with us. I'm gonna try something new. I'm gonna try some matches. And see I've had lighter problems, and once we get a good um, judgment call of what the flavors are in this cigar, we're gonna try pairing it with some George Dickel Tennessee whiskey. George Dickel. George Superior Dickel. number 12. Ooh, it's a interesting smell. Hmm. Very barnyardy smell. Oh, yeah, a little bit of leather, some chocolate. It doesn't smell like a like your normal barn. This one smells like a horse barn, like a oh, horse okay. ranch to me. Yeah. Very nice. Nice humidor smell. Let's get it cut up. Let's do it. Another nice evening. Rob the weatherman. It's going to have a loose draw. You know you do have your notes sitting right on the chair, right? Yeah. <laughs> Got a loose draw. Mm, cocoa. What do you got there, Rob? Uh, it's ten to eleven dollars per cigar. Huh? Huh? The old fashioned way. One tick. <laughs> Matches are fun when it's a calm night. Has a tickle, almost in my dickle. <laughs> it's George Dickle. Mmm, <laughs> spice and pepper bomb right now. Wow, with a little bit of dry tobacco. Might be because of the light. I kind of got the flame a little bit too close. I'm not used to lighting with a, a match, but very peppery, spicy, dry thus far. Took a little water. It's got a pretty strong burn on my tongue. Yeah, it's very 
really spicy and peppery. I wasn't sure if that was just me or it's a real pepper bomb right now. Kicking my tongue oh, butt. Wow, look at that. Not your best work, but raw. Well, <laughs> your match idea didn't help at all. <laughs> what do you guys think about Rob's light job? Yay or nay? I'm gonna have to fix that. <laughs> gonna start burning this way. <laughs> but I guess if I were to do a dragon, it'd be like this. Dracarys. <laughs> Rob and I went to um, Metro Cigars, which is a cigar smoke shop yesterday. And uh, we had a cigar. And I'm not gonna lie, I, we haven't had cigars indoors for quite a long time. And I had the uh, Gurkha Shaggy. And you had the Parla or Perla Del Mar. Uh -huh. From Connecticut. And those aren't very heavy hitters when it comes to cigars, but by the time we were done, I was definitely feeling it. And uh, very lightheaded, was really reaching for the sugar. On side. my way home, I was just trying to keep my shit together so that I could make it. But we were fine. It just it wore off after like a half an hour. But oof, just yeah. I don't like smoking indoors. I'll do it in the winter. One and driving in a while. after that is worse than driving. But if I have the preference, I I much rather be outside getting that fresh air because yep. it's just it's too much to be sitting there for an hour and a half. It is. We talked about that the draw is really loose in a good way. It's not too loose. It's got yeah, a little really bit of, is. just a little bit of resistance. Um, the uh, the seams are visible, but it's very well constructed. Kind of bumpy and veiny. That is spicy. Yeah. Wow. But good. Sometimes I get a little bit of um, dark chocolate in this on the on the finish, and I with some sweetness, and I hope that starts to come through in the first third or after the first third. So we are at what 365 subscribers. Uh, we might have hit 370 today. Oh, we appreciate that. We Pretty appreciate amazing. all you guys, and thank you for commenting on our videos. I always love love seeing the uh, the new comments come up just to interact with you guys. Oh and, yeah, um, it's a real community, and it's it's fun to to know what you guys like or what you're into, and then um, just kind of comparing and talking about it. Yeah. Look at that. You got a reply. Nice. Just as we're talking, right we get on. a reply. That's awesome. That is awesome. We're gonna smoke this down a little bit so that we can get some flavors for you, and we'll be right back. We are human. And uh, we forgot to turn the mic back on. So, we're a little further down than we were when we came back. Uh, and we've already mixed in the whiskey, so we will catch you up right now. Yes. <sighs> Again. Which sucks. Which Because it went great. Probably our best show ever. Oh, yeah. Our I mean, best I mean, middle you, part you of the missed, show ever. You missed our best show ever. So, some of the flavors wow. that I was getting, it, got, it definitely got better uh, in the second third. And... Uh, the smoke got chewier and thicker in my mouth. Yeah. And I was getting... Felt oh, good on the tongue. Some dark chocolate. Yep, um, dark chocolate, still a little bit of spice, kind of like a Mexican chocolate. Mm -hmm. And I was getting a lot of spice uh, and sweetness on the finish. It wasn't during the draw, but afterwards it was definitely creeping up on the tongue. Um, so that was good. And, and what we did say too, was we were pairing it with a Tennessee whiskey and this is something that we both really like, and it's both it's really affordable. And some of the flavors that you're gonna get with this, I feel like this is like deja vu. Yeah. Uh, in this smooth, finishing 90 proof whiskey, you'll find flavors of rich oak, subtle vanilla, and hints of sweetness and smoke. And then they say, around here, we like to say, grab there your dickle. There ain't nothing better. I agree, I agree. Nothing better. And the, the nosing on this is just so good. It is, the nosing is amazing. The vanilla, the oakiness. Mm -hmm. Very sweet. I love whiskeys with vanilla smells yeah. and, and flavors. Just, they really appeal to me. I like them apples. Let's do the cigar fact of the day, take two. Are you sure we didn't get that I don't before know. we left? 
I think we got that before. I thought it was when we came back. Maybe. So we'll do it again. Okay. So the fun fact for the day, and some of you might know this, it might not be, you know, that interesting to you, but um, for some of you newcomers to cigars, it might not be something you know, but um, humidors are made of Spanish cedar, which is kiln dried to prevent the wood from releasing the sap that's in the wood. And then it helps the wood absorb the moisture and hold it. If you keep your cigar in a well-maintained humidor, mm -hmm. it can age for a lifetime. And wow. you could let it sit for 50 years and smoke it. Now, some of that's subject to opinion. Some people say cigars get worse with age. Some say they get better. Does it matter how long you live? I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> I do feel like the flavors come out a little bit more. Okay. Some people say they'll mellow out. It depends on the cigar. Yeah. Some yeah. people say like the um, the more full bodies will mellow out, mm -hmm. and then the mild ones you'll really they'll they'll age better. Right. With time. My uh, my cigar is uh, evening itself out a little bit. It, would you buy this? I would buy this well, you again. Did. I would buy yeah. it again. Okay. Yes. It actually got um, on cigar. International? Aficionado. Aficionado. 2014, it was number two cigar. Oh, nice. Great cigar. Great pairing. Very good. Yeah, it is a very good cigar. And yes, I would buy this as well. <coughs> Label comes off. Nice and easy. Yeah. Perfect. I did too. Let us know if you had the La Historia La by E.P. Carrillo. And what did you think of it? Are you as high on this cigar as we are? We love it. I'd also like to give a shout out while we're on. Okay. For Pete's sake, have a cigar. Pete uh, actually had a scaffolding accident uh, on Labor Day and uh, fractured one of his vertebrae. So Pete, uh, if you're watching, just wanna say that we hope you have a very speedy recovery. Yes. Uh, we we are praying for you that you know you make a full recovery, and hopefully you can get back ASAP to make great YouTube videos. It's not as much fun, you know, when when our buddies are yeah when they're not MIA they're for not a bit. Able to communicate with you and so also uh, lost without you, man. Yeah, so get well soon. Yeah, Crosby's Corner, uh, you were our giveaway winner. Uh, let us know what you think about the APAD, and then I think he also got the Cinco... Cinco Vegas. Cinco Vegas. Yep. Let us know what you think about those, buddy. I know you've been big into pipes lately, but uh, hopefully you got time for a stogie. And uh, if you're using those whiskey glasses, maybe you're using them for Coke. That's fine, too. Coca-Cola. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's been real. Yes. This was Simple Diversion Cigar Edition, late night. Hope you guys all stay safe, stay smoky, have a good night. Sweet dreams, everybody. Sweet dreams. Sweet dreams.